Hey everyone, this video is sponsored by Art Neko Stamps. They have great quality red rubber stamps, they have an interesting variety of stamps, and they have something for everyone at Art Neko Stamps. So be sure to check out their website. For today's project, I needed to alter an index card for an index card challenge. So I am using this geisha, and this is called Geisha on a Field of Flowers, and it's the large uh, version. They have a smaller version also. And I'm using this jelly print, and I had this in my stash. I made it a long time ago. And um, for my computer, I am printing No Road is Too Long in the Company of a Friend, and it's a laser printer, so it won't smear. And this is a 3x5 index card. And when I printed that onto my jelly print, I made sure it was low enough because I wanted it at the bottom of that index card. And there's the jelly print cut out to 3x5 with a uh, Japanese proverb at the bottom. And uh, I need to uh, stamp on this before I glue it down. And because this is an acrylic paint that I use for this jelly print, I know it's going to be hard to stamp on. So I'm going to use a stamping tool, the Tim Holtz stamp platform, and I am going to use um, Fun Stamper's Journey True Color Fusion Black Licorice Ink because I can heat set that ink. I know I know it'll work on this. And I have my stamp all set up in the stamp platform. That's the True Color Fusion Black Licorice Ink from Fun Stamper's Journey. And this is an unmounted stamp, and I don't like foam on the back of my stamps. So what I do is I use a glue stick. It's just a school glue stick, and I smear it on the top. And I'll be able to shut the, the cover of the, that stamp platform to pick up the stamp. But that's how I like to use these unmounted stamps and then that way uh, the stamps are easy to store that way and I don't have to spend extra on the, the foam. And now I'm going to stamp it with that uh, Fun Stamper's Journey Black Ink and I have to do it several times to get a nice dark impression that I want. But that's what's great about these uh, stamping tools is you can stamp over and over. And there we go, a perfectly stamped geisha on a field of flowers image. And now I'm going to heat set this ink um, because, like I said before, I knew it would be hard to stamp on this acrylic paint, but I knew with the Fun Stamper's Journey uh, True Color Fusion ink that I could heat set this. So I'm just going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to heat set this ink. And there we go, it's all heat set. It's not smearing and now it's permanent and it's alcohol marker friendly and it's waterproof after you heat set it. I have this little bamboo branch die and this is a Spellbinders die and I'm going to cut seven bamboo branches from green pattern paper and then I will glue those um, randomly onto that upper left hand corner. And there they are, and I'm just going to decide where I want them. I'm just going to lay them around uh, just to kind of, you know, get a feel for where I want them. And then I'll use a wet adhesive and I'll glue those on. And now that I have those bamboo branches on where I want them and all glued down with a, a wet adhesive, 
I am going to uh, use a punch to punch out some gold foil swirls. And I'm actually getting the gold foil uh, from a scrap piece of cardstock I had. It's, um, it's gold dots. So I'm just putting my punch in the middle of those dots and I'm going to cut out three swirlies. And I'm just going to glue those three swirlies down with a wet adhesive and I'm just going to randomly put them in the middle of that index card. And once I get those swirlies glued down where I want them, I need to glue this onto an actual index card. I'll be using score tape to glue that down because I know it will hold onto that index card and it won't come off. And my altered index card is finished. And I left it blank on the back. I will fill in my personal information later and this index card is being sent to a friend. And I will link uh, down below to the stamps that I use and also to the Art Neko blog where I have a blog post about this altered index card. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on my profile picture. And I'll also have a couple of other interesting videos to the left. Thanks for watching. Bye.